Hey everyone, I wanted to give a preview of something that we've been working on that I like to call the Godfather prompt. And the whole point of this prompt is to be able to take the insights that you would say if you were to reach out to somebody manually, what would you actually say to those people and how would that change your message? And we can fill out basically a form where we say, you know, hey, given this LinkedIn profile, what would you say to this person? And given this LinkedIn profile, what would you say to this person? And then we can train an AI model and then you could write three to five messages and then scale those insights across your entire market. And so basically, this is the way that it works. This is the first table that right now is not connected to a form, but we could easily connect it to a form. It takes your company name, your website, and all of this information. Then we have LinkedIn target one, everything about LinkedIn target one. We have the company description that we're reaching out to. And then we have an opportunity for extra research type and then ex extra research uh, on LinkedIn one. So we can insert, hey, you know, they have an open, right now we're doing website research, which is fine. But we could say, hey, they have an open job and specifically they uh, are hiring for an SDR. So we could put that in here as a manual uh, input. And then we did the same thing for a LinkedIn profile number two. And then we did the same thing for LinkedIn profile number three. What we're also doing is we have the input here where we can manually say, what is the actual email that I would send to this person? So see how we have email sent to LinkedIn one. So we can manually write this and say, hey, given this person's LinkedIn profile, this is what I, and what their company does, this is what I would say to them. And given this person's LinkedIn profile, this is what I would say to them. And given this person's LinkedIn profile and what their company does, this is what I would say to them. And then we have our templated message and then we have background information. And so now we can fill all this out. A form would just get filled out. And then we could go to table number two. And so table number two, this is just an example table over here. Um, nothing crazy. See how we can put new column in here and we just inserted clay.com. All then we're doing is a lookup right here. So now we could fill out the form and we could launch a new table and we can look up everything uh, in this table. So now we could have as we could have 50 different forms in this one table. And then once we find, then we could just say, Hey, for this particular customer, this is the one we're going to use. So we would just change this column to just be clay.com or any of our other customers um, domains. Then we would look up the record and then we could write our own messaging based off of the past context, right? So we have this gigantic prompt where we're inputting the background information about my company, which is coming from the other table. We have the templated messaging, which is coming from the other table. Then we have the current prospects job title, the current prospect summary, the current summary of their current role, the current description of what their company does, and then we can insert custom research as well. Then we have all of these rules as well and all of these other things. So then what we're also doing here is the, I need Clay to upgrade this a little bit for me. What we really want to be able to do is then set as an example, and we would have this prompt, and then we would have an example right underneath it to say, okay, here's all the rules. All I did though at this point was just insert it, and I just said, okay, this is an input of an example, and this is what I would say to them. Use this as a guideline for you know the one that you're going to be completing up here, right? And so then we have the LinkedIn string, and we have the company description, and then we have the email that we would send to them, which now this is a preview because it has taken so long to get to this point. I would say that now I just have to increase the the quality of the inputs at this point because I was just writing things to just get things written. But you can see now that to each person we're writing completely personalized messages in the voice of what we've sent in the past. We need a little bit of a clay upgrade over here and I need to improve the, the inputs because getting all this done by itself and prompting it was pretty tough. But so then we say like, I noticed that APN Systems offers efficient digital services to various industries. Do you, your in-house teams ever struggle with scaling outreach due to researching every potential client detail? We aided the SaaS firm, blah, 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 blah. Awesome. And so then see how it's like, I see you're successfully developing social SaaS products with over 150,000 customers. So straight to the point of these people. And then it's talking about how we've helped these other people as well. And it's tying it in all together. Again, what I am not super proud of right now is the total output here 
uh due to the inputs not being that crazy just yet this is just a preview we're going to be improving all of the inputs and then that's going to be improving the outputs over here we need clay to build a tiny feature where we can also input um columns into the example which we can't do right now but that'll be coming this is just a preview i can't wait to show you guys how it works like crazy but uh so far it's been very interesting of what we've been able to get it to say and align with some of our past messaging so um one day we'll release this as a template but for now we're going to keep working on it and i just wanted to send out an update to everyone